All right, guys. So I told y'all, whenever I started this, that I was gonna tell y'all the good and the bad. And so far, there's been a lot of good and not a lot of bad. But I ain't gonna lie to you. This time, I may have bit off a little bit more than I could chew. Stay tuned. Join us on the road to go and land more, make more. Got the spirit of an entrepreneur. Always trying to maneuver and find more ways of getting cheddar. And get the money coming in forever, ever, forever. guys and welcome back to flipping 101 i'm matthew i'm gonna be your host for today roman sosa couldn't make it because he had to go to work okay he just fucking job so and what you got you got to deal with it today we're going to be talking about our latest business adventure um i don't know if you guys have seen a lot of these videos they've been popping up for me at least on youtube and they're just People starting their own vending companies. They start out small, uh, candy machines, uh, gumball machines. They work their way up to soda, vending machines, stuff like that. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and start out with some bubble gum machines and we're gonna see where that takes us. Uh, pretty much we started out two weeks ago. We started out with just three machines and I'm gonna cut you to that video right now. So we just drove an hour and a half to come pick up these three candy machines. One, two, three one of them has the key busted off in it we're gonna have to get it out another one doesn't have a lock at all and the other one seems to be perfectly fine abriana's with us today she's gonna be putting in the quarters put in one inside this one first i think it's gonna turn i hope so ah look it looks like it's turning and it went in there too. okay so let's go to the next one put the quarter in there It looks like everything's moving, huh? And now the last one. Maybe not this one. Oh, oh there it goes. I had a little, need a little juice. All of them seem to be working. So we're going to take them home. We're going to clean them up. Okay. These are the three machines from that video right here. Get in. Get a good picture of them. Medea. Medea is going to be our lovely camera woman for today. Say hi, Medea. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we got these two working. And funny story about these, we on this side, we started out filling it up with Skittles and we were giving about 26 ounces, 26 grams, right babe? Yes. Almost a full ounce. And we were paying 27, 27 cents an ounce. So those numbers just didn't work out for no, us. No, so sir. We switched them up to the peanut M&Ms and now they're doing exactly what we need. So that's good for us. And actually the peanut M&Ms are a lot tastier. Look at me, I'm a big fat slob. I've got bigger titties than you do. I've got more chins than a Chinese phone book. I've not seen my willy in two years, which is long enough to declare I'm legally dead. Guys, so. We're going to be filling this guy up completely with peanut M&M's tomorrow. And the bubblegum machine, the bubblegum machine, we started out with these little tiny bubblegums and it was dispersing like seven or eight bubblegums at a time. So it's supposed to only throw two bubblegums at a time. And like I said, we we're getting seven or eight. So what we did was we switched up to the one inch bubblegums uh, and they're dispersing like it's supposed to. Another thing that, that I did wrong was I flipped this over and uh, the little springs, there's some little springs in there and they were on the wrong side. So the bubble gums were just popping straight out and we couldn't figure it out. We couldn't figure it out for the life of me. And then I was looking at another one of our machines and it worked out. This guy, we're waiting on the locks for it and we're gonna build a stand at work. Hopefully I can find a welder to build a stand for me. And this guy's gonna be going into uh, Rose Gold services right that's what it's called 
Rose Gold Services. I think, yes. Uh, right here in Artesia, New Mexico. So we're gonna fill this bad boy up with M&Ms is what they requested. So this one already got to home. This one had a home. Guys, this was supposed to go to a local uh, pipe shop in, I guess they just didn't want it. So we're pulling it back. We There was a bunch of other places that say that they want vending machines. So we're not worried about it at all. These guys we got from my Uncle Joe and this thing was filthy. It was so nasty. And me and Roman Sosa took about two hours. We took this whole thing apart. We disinfected it. And what we're gonna do, the plan for this, is we're gonna put M&Ms and Skittles. I'm gonna try to hit up the local thrift shop and see if they'll take these. So wish us luck on that. And this is where I think I bit off a little bit more than I could chew because these three machines, they're fine, right? You know, I don't know what I'm doing. So that was probably a little bit much as it was. But then I got an offer from the person that owns our local bowling alley. And she said that she'd sell me all these guys for a hundred bucks a piece. And I just couldn't, I couldn't say no to that offer. What she didn't tell me guys, what she did not tell me and what I advise you guys to ask is, does it have any keys? Cause I did not ask this and it did not come with any keys. So we ordered the new locks and keys and they will be here in a few days. And I'm telling you, we're just spending money on this. We're spending a lot of money on this. And a lot of these machines aren't even filled. So we still have to go buy candy. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, I mean, the coin, the, the term coin operated isn't exactly mean that it's going to be passive income. It's going it, to, there's work for this i mean like i said it took two hours to take this machine apart where we have to wait for the locks to come in so right now that's 300 dollars just sitting there it's not making us any money it's an investment that's not making us any money right now this is an investment that's not making us any money this is an investment that's not making us any money we need to put these in some shops that's what we need to do. We need to get it in some shops and we need to start making, I don't care if it's a dollar a day, we need to start making money back on these machines because. It's my money and I need it now. 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 I mean, it's, it's not a good investment, right? Right, it's just really not a good investment, so. A little bit about these machines. It came with fat-free gumballs. I didn't know that gumballs even had fat. We had M&M's peanut. I think this one's a fat-free machine because this one had fat-free Skittles in it, fat-free Mike and Ike's, fat-free hot tamales. This was for the people who, in California, who don't like fats, you know what I mean? So, and this is for us New Mexicans right here. Can you see how much fat this is? I'm pretty sure these are just pebbles of fat right here. So, it just goes to show you, these are the Boston Baked Beans. We have the, what are these called, babe? Um, the Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. I do not like these. These are chocolate. I'm not, I'm not a big sweets fan. So, the hot tamales are gone from here. And so are the regular M&Ms. So, maybe that's something that people like. I don't know. We really don't know what people like it, so... We're gonna go out there and we're gonna try it. And hopefully the locks and stuff. Actually, another thing, there was some change in here, guys. I don't know if you guys can hear that over there. But there's some change in here. Maybe, maybe the money, all the money that we invested is in here. I doubt it, but maybe it's all in here. Maybe not, they locked us the key, so. Moving on to the next machine. This machine had keys, okay? They are right here. Here are the keys for this. And let me open it up for you guys just to show you out. Ah, I already have the other side open. So what's weird about this? They don't open, right? It takes a secondary key right here. This is the Vinstar 3000. It takes two sets of keys for some odd reason. They didn't think that one key was good enough for the whole machine. So we're waiting on keys for this. We're waiting on keys for this. We're waiting on keys for this. 
waiting on locks for this. We're waiting on locks for this. And all our money is just sitting here right now, guys. Hopefully, we get places with a lot of foot traffic and we can get rid of these. But for now, they're just sitting here not making us any money. Maybe I could have spent the money somewhere else and we could be having money coming in right now. But this is the route we chose to go. And hopefully it comes into a good full-time income for us. It It's going to be one of those things that's going to be bringing in money while we're sleeping. You know what they say about these coin-operated machines? You could be taking a nap and someone could be buying a handful of Skittles and you're making money down the street. So it's a good investment. After they pay for themselves off, it's all profit. So we're going to see where it goes, guys. And hopefully you like where we're going. This guy had the lock, the key stuck in it. So we, I'm going to show you the clip of that right now. Okay, guys. So I figured out how to get it out. I had to bring in a special tool to get it out. And I got a little bit of a wiggle a little while ago. Let's see if I can get it all the way out now. Here it comes. Ah! There it is. And I don't think there was anything wrong with this guy. But let me know what you guys think. Should we keep on going with this? Should we maybe buy more gumball machines? Should we go bigger? Should we just look for locations? What should be our next move, guys? Uh, go ahead and let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I know this is a short video, but stay tuned because this is just part one and hopefully a very, very long series of us making a lot of money with the vending machine company. It's going to be called Flipping Vending Co. I don't know if I, if I told you guys that yet, but it's going to be called Flipping Vending Co. I got the stickers made by my cousin Lisa Vasquez. She does all kinds of vinyl. I'll try to pop up her link right there. And wish us luck guys because we don't know what we're doing don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know if you guys have any input of what we should be doing with our gumball machine what our next move should be just give us any insights that you have we're always open to new suggestions thank you join us on the road of go and land more make more got the spirit of an entrepreneur always trying to maneuver and find more ways of getting cheddar and get the money coming in forever ever forever entrepreneurs yeah